Hello everyone, it is an I-0386SX random special and we are steering at another Compaq Smart Station. No, it's not a rerun. Not at all. I shall show you how it's not a rerun. Well, we got two drive bays that are never been filled. Although, well, you could have bought that. True. I could have. But we flip it to the bottom, and you notice something about this one versus the one I've worked on previously. It's all in one piece. But how did I acquire such a rare piece of compact history, you may ask? Well, it's an accident. It's clearly, purely an accident. See, this came up on the old the, the marketplace, Facebook marketplace, and I originally offered it to the the compact LTE owners group say hey you should maybe pick this up it was only fifty dollars I said it was allegedly marked down from 150 I don't know if that's true or not but uh, doesn't really matter at this point but but a couple days later the the few folks in the group say you should really go pick that up and there's another a couple others chimed in and said it's really worth the drive but at the time it was let me think about this. Uh, probably about 80 miles away from me. So, I was like, yeah, I'll, if it's still there when I get there, then I'll pick it up. But then another person's like, for that case alone, it's worth it. So, I messaged the guy and say, hey, will you meet me in the next town over? And he did. So, we went to Potato Land to go pick up a smart station. We don't know if it works. At this point, it's still considered a win. By the way, he marked, uh, the gentleman that sold this to me marked an additional $10 off just to get it off of his hand, so, and I'm a nice guy, so it's like, yeah. I reluctantly took the 10 back, but, well, we have a working relationship, so here we go. Uh, let's try to see, I just applied power to it. And maybe. Hold, please. Do, 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 do. It did say powered up. Well, I'll tell you right now, it's not going to power up as the way I had it, unfortunately. Um, uh, that's not, we're really starting off on a bad, on a bad foot here. Ah, just kidding. It just, it wasn't plugged in on the other end. So uh, let's try it again. There's one other thing I want to check here too before I do anything else. There's two dip switches that are uh, they are set correctly, so it's good. There you go. That's looking good. Unfortunately, this has a quantum hard drive in it, so I don't know how far I'm going to get on this, but, uh... Doesn't sound too good, the hard drive in here. stand behind here and maybe see a little bit better uh, you know what I'm gonna turn it off I'm gonna eject this thing <laughs> works great so let's get that hard drive out of here that I think is uh, what we're gonna call a load of toast Please. Still 
holding. Thank you for holding. I think I found a drive. Or it's an empty shell. I'm not sure which one, but uh, uh, it is kind of important to test docking stations inside and out. And I did find one with a 256 megabyte CF to IDE adapter. So let's give that the old college try. Power ring up. That's more like it. Now let's see if it'll boot normally. I had issues with my other one doing that, so I, I don't know what was up with that, but... No issues. Didn't have to do anything with this one. It just booted right up, so... For $40, I think we did damn good. And I mean damn good. So... The gods were smiling on me today on this one, that's for sure. And all all signs pointed to go get this thing. It all cost me was forty dollars, and I had to go bribe my wife with some food to go bring home to go get this thing. So we did good. We did really good. So there it is. We have another smart station in the family now. I am going to do absolutely nothing with it beyond take it out once in a while, so that way the plastic stays intact, because I don't want anything to happen to this, because I don't think we're going to see another one like this, especially at that price. So that's it for now. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye.